My dad's just bought this soundbar. This is um, called the Samsung Q700A. And as you can see, it says it's got um, Dolby Atmos uh, DTS-X True 3.1 Point to channel sound, Q Symphony, Space Fit sound, Adaptive sound. It's got all these logos down there as well. And um, you can pause the video and have a look. And uh, you can also look this stuff up on the website as well. So I'm going to unbox this and see if it's any good. This must be the subwoofer. Got some batteries there. These are double A batteries. Remote control. Two plugs. Let me cut this. Soundbar. So you've got your buttons up there, volume control, you've got two HDMI sockets, digital audio, optical in, service, DC, must be power. It's quite big. Now I'm going to take out the subwoofer. Cut that. Samsung there. So this is the subwoofer, so it only has a power. It says link, standby, ID set. has a power supply there. And this is the subwoofer, it's quite big. So we'll put it here. So on the top part of the bag, we've got the remote control batteries. And I'm just opening up the bottom part. So I'm not sure what that is, maybe a mounting bracket. You got your HDMI cable and two power sockets. Sorry, um, power cables, I should say. Get some papers. Um, must be something to do with the power supply. <clears throat> and some more papers. So I'm going to set this up and see if it sounds any good. So this is the remote control. Um, you got sound mode here, so that's for surround. And there's a little screen there that tells you what you're doing. And then you can click surround and then game mode. Game Pro it's called. And then you've got um, adaptive. Adaptive sound. And what else you got? Standard, surround, game, adaptive. And then you click here, this is settings one. You've got treble, you can adjust the treble. And you've got bass, you can put the bass up or down. Minus, just leave it on zero. And then what else you got? Um, sync. And then um, center, center level. And front, top level. In the virtual and you can also control the subwoofer this is where you can push up to make the subwoofer go up like that that's the most we go plus six and you go down and it goes zero then minus one minus two but it jumps to 12 well, I think once you get to six and you press down one more time minus 12 that's a big jump isn't it yeah, I just leave it on zero you can adjust the volume as well yeah and this one and mute it and it's, uh, it's the power, or the source, um, uh, the input source that's for. 
and you can also pair this with your telephone as well. You just press that and you can, it says BT there for Bluetooth. It's very easy to pair. And um, if you can pair your telephone with your car, it's a similar process. Very, very easy to pair. And uh, I didn't even bother reading instructions and I was able to pair it with my telephone. Um, yeah, so I didn't even read the instructions and I set this up and it was very, very easy. It's all intuitive, very, very simple. But I suppose it depends on your experience. Here's the instructions for using the remote control. As you can see, it's got different sound modes there. It's also got sound control. And um, you can pause this and uh, read it all if you want. And um, also how to install the wall mount for the sound bar. So the reason why my parents bought these um, external speakers is because uh, their Samsung TV speakers blew out. Um, they were listening to probably loud music and it just blew out. And so now if you listen to anything on those speakers, those TV speakers, it just crackles too much. So I said to my mom and dad, just get some um, decent external speakers. And they said, well, my dad says, no, get some really good speakers. So I started searching around and I saw these Q700A speakers, read some reviews and people said they're very good. But there was one thing that I wasn't really sure of. They said that the bass wasn't that good on these speakers. But now I have them, I, I know that's not true. The bass is fantastic on these speakers and it's more than what um, I need or more than what my parents need. And um, if you turn the bass up to plus six, it's just too bass heavy and you have to turn it down, but leave it at zero. So, uh, but the thing is, if you do like um, really heavy bass on your music, maybe you should step up and look at the Q800A uh, speakers by Samsung. Apparently that has more bass in, um, uh, the subwoofer but um, I, I, I think these ones are, are more than uh, enough I think it's fantastic so um, yeah I'm very very happy with them and uh, also you can you can step up to the maybe the Q900 or the Q950 uh, you know you can just keep going up but for the price I think this is fantastic I'm very very happy everything is very very clear all the lyrics are very, very clear in music and spoken content in, in um, TV shows and everything it's just fantastic and the thing is when you have a good pair of speakers as well and um, listening to music and um, watching TV just becomes so much more enjoyable so it's worth getting some good external speakers it just makes things just so much better setting up these speakers was very easy i didn't even read the instructions and everything was just so intuitive it's just very very simple to straight um, straightforward to do so yeah um nothing complex about it at all um so yeah i'm very very happy with them my parents are very happy with them as soon as i put it on me and my mom were really smiling like we we're really grinning at um how uh, the sound was so good so yeah um very very happy with this purchase so that's it really if you got any questions leave it in the comments and i'll try and answer them if i can um, so thanks for watching bye bye my dad's just bought this um samson hello mommy all right say hello to the camera